Hello everybody, I'm Simon Lore, bringing you more Magic the Gathering lore. Let's continue our 25 cards of Christmas with card number 11, Anthalza, Stesnian Hero. Anthalza is the champion of Satessa on the plane of Theros. Theros is a world which is governed by the whims of all-powerful gods, and Satessa is no exception in that regard. Satessa is a city found deep in the forest of Theros, and being the haven in the wild that it is, it's ruled by the god of orphans, Karametra. This god is worshipped throughout the community and their prayers please Karametra. She treats all those who live in Satessa as her children, and thus, she protects them from the encroaching darkness of the world outside their forest home. Being the god of orphans, she welcomes all children who lack a home or family. Those children who have nothing are especially precious to the god, bestowing onto them all of her grace and strength. These children are known as Arkuli, which means little bears, and are held in the highest esteem by the entire community. Anthalza was one such Akuli. She had lost her home and her family to a tragic fire and wandered into the woods with nothing but the tears on her face. Karametra led the young girl to Satessa where she was received and grew up in the light of the god herself. With the blessings of a god, Anthalza grew to become one of Satessa's greatest hunters and warriors, proving her merit numerous times against gigantic monsters who threatened her city. But, as the girl grew, so did a conflict among the gods themselves. The god of storms, Karanos, began to act without regards to the sacred lands of Karametra. He sent powerful storms to her forest which shook the very earth and snapped century-old trees. Karametra was furious at this clear act of selfishness and verbally chastised Karanos for his actions. Karanos felt as if he was being disrespected, believing that Karametra had no right to dictate where he could send his storms. Furious at her impotence, Koronos sent a storm of cataclysmic proportions to Satessa, which would destroy their crops and send their citizens to huddled indoors. Young Anthalza was out hunting when she found herself caught in the center of the storm. Koronos knew of the girl and how Karametra favored this mortal, so he decided to send a message to the god. He threw down a lightning bolt from Nyx which struck the grave of a titan which had been buried for countless years beneath the forest floor. The ground around Anthalza began to shift and the giant awoke from his death and crawled from the earth. It was an earth titan, standing 30 feet tall in front of the young huntress. The giant grabbed the trunk of a shattered tree and began to swing at Anthalza, who barely escaped with her head still intact. She ran and the titan gave chase. The destruction of the forest was not just felt by Karametra, but also caught the attention of Nelia, god of the hunt. This was her precious forest which was being destroyed, and she decided to intervene on behalf of those who called it their home. She summoned vines to grow near the titan's feet, gripping the titan's legs and causing him to stumble. Quickly, Anthalza took her opportunity and raced towards the distressed Colossus. She was as fast as a deer. She used the vines to climb up the body of the earth titan finally resting on its shoulders. The titan flailed about in an attempt to break free from its bonds and throw Anthalza from its shoulders, but it was unsuccessful. The young warrior was searching for a vulnerable place in the titan's body, any place that she could plunge her dagger into. She discovered its soft, fleshy skin right behind the titan's ear and drove her dagger deep into the flesh. She called out for Karametra, who heard her favorite daughter's plea. With a simple spell, Karametra enchanted Anthalza, giving her the strength needed to cleave the titan's head clean off its shoulders. The titan's head sunk into the rain-soaked forest floor a constant reminder that not even the storms could penetrate the protection of Karametra. Anthalza went on to become one of the greatest warriors and leaders in the Satessan army, forging new tales of her deeds faster than those she commanded could write them down. So there you go guys, the lore behind Anthalza, Satessan hero, and the 11th card of Christmas. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and make sure you return tomorrow for the next card of Christmas. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.